all right shower one first and foremost i would like to give all praise and glory and to your how well by hashem you have shot by shem and double honors unto the apostles and the elders of gms who rule well teach well being great example towards all the brothers and peace and blessing and salutation to the hopeful elect all right the brothers pushing his word and truth and in sincerity and to the hopeful elect all right the listeners the believers who came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you how about your mouth shot now i want to go into you know a lesson dealing with comment comment board etiquette all right comment board etiquette all right now i want to get this word etiquette okay just a quick google all right um definition says a customary code of polite behavior in society or among members of a particular profession or group okay so let's read this word etiquette again the customary code of polite behavior in society or among members of a particular profession or group okay and we are a particular professional group which is the church and there's a particular etiquette you know um that, 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 that we have you know amongst each other okay there's order you know there's rank you know there's uh, you know men you know women you know there's a, there's there's order okay you know you have the teachers you know you the, the listeners <laughs> okay there, there's etiquette all right so you had a situation earlier which you know i, I can't remember the guy's name and this is not to call him out this is just speaking in general you know because jake you know coming to the truth and you know you come in you know jake coming from you know, we all come from nigger culture, Western culture, where there's no etiquette at all. There's no order. We wasn't taught. You know, a lot of us wasn't taught, you know, really how to deal. You know, some, you know, more rough around the edges than others. You know, and um, and we get it. You know, you're excited. You know, this is not a, <laughs> a cuss out. All right. This is just advice moving forward. All right. And like I say, we get it. You know, you happy to find out you're an Israelite, you know, there's other people that believe and you have the zeal and you want to get on the comment board and kind of express yourself, but that's improper etiquette, okay? The comment board is for edification. These lessons is for edification. It's all about, all right, this is a sacrifice. This is an altar, okay? This is a spiritual altar that you come before, you know, when you get on these live screens, man, you know, this sacrifice is going up to the heavens, okay? And you don't want to get on there, all right, with the improper etiquette, okay? And that's why it says this in, um, uh, let's get this in the book of Ecclesiastes, all right, chapter 5, and we read in NLT as well. It's Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 1. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of the Most High, and be more ready to hear than to give a sacrifice of fools for they consider not that they do evil. Be more ready to hear. You know, is there someone new that's coming into this thing? You know, you should have the mindset of listening. You know, and like I said, we get it. Okay, but you know, but these things have to be addressed. All right, because I know, you know, when I first came in, you know, I didn't even feel worthy to speak. <laughs> you know, I felt so far behind. My whole thing was I need to catch up. You know, and if you're um, just tuning in and you're listening and you're young and you're fresh, you know, you should be in the spirit of taking notes. You should be doing a lot of reading, okay, a lot of reading. You should be occupied in the reading, you know, researching, you know, things that brothers are speaking on, okay, uh, writing down precepts, all right? That, that, that should be the number one focus, all right, we're putting all these you know, being chatty on the comment board and trying to tell brothers your life story and your life bio. Like, look, man, we that's not there for that, man. Like I said, we all got a story. <laughs> okay, we Israelites in America, man. There's, there's tens of millions of, of of violin stories that we can that we can speak on, man. Okay, and that's why you know when you understand that that. that we in this position because of our sin, because of our disobedience. Then, you know, you just got to eat whatever the Lord, hey, whatever we've been through, man, you know, is, is deserved. Okay? And we adults now. You know, whatever happened in our childhood, we adults now. 
Okay, you got to get over there because guess what? Life <laughs> don't stop. Okay? The, uh, the Xfinity, you know, the gas people, car, no car insurance, they don't want to hear, you know, no childhood life story, man. You, things got to be done now. Okay? So, yeah, just read this in the NLT. It says, as you enter the house of the Most High, keep your ears open and your mouth shut. Okay? Your ears open. Be ready to hear you know, he, hey, you gotta, you gotta get built up. It's about you being built up, edified, man. You know, and like I said, this ain't, ain't, ain't a cuss out, it's just advice. Okay, uh, verse two it says, "Don't be rash with your mouth, okay, and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before the Most High." Hey, this is the Lord's business. <laughs> you see, this is a serious thing. You know, and I know that we, you know, in our mind, we have a, a, a very low self-image of ourselves. You know, we come from a culture where we all, you know, had this low self-image of ourselves, okay? And we, there was really no respect, you know, especially coming from the matriarch. There's really no respect for Israelite male authority, okay? Because the things that, you know, Jake would do on the comment board, they wouldn't dare do, you know, at work. And they wouldn't dare go into these college universities, all right, and tell, you know, and, and just start blurting out things at the college professor, okay? So, you know, it's all a part, you know, that, of that wound that we suffer from slavery. That's a part of it as well, you know? But this is why we're here to heal, because we're all being healed, you know, from these wounds of captivity, man, Okay? So we have to understand this is serious business, man. When these live streams are going on, this is serious business, man. Okay? This is the Lord. This is the Lord. This is the Lord is dealing. Like he puts his spirit on a man to teach. Okay? And edify his sheep. So the Lord is working. You know? So you don't want to just jump in the mix and be rash and just blurting out things that have nothing to do with what's going on. Okay, you're being rash because you see brothers putting up precepts. Okay, and then, you know, if a brother is putting up precepts, the women are learning in silence. Okay, and then you will have a guy come in and just start blurting these, you know, off topic things like, nah, you throwing the, you throwing the song off, man. You know, because this thing is, is like a choir. You know, as a brother is teaching and another brother. You know, because the brother say his brother doing a live stream. Well, he, he would be like the lead singer. And then you would have brothers putting up precepts. Hey, they're ad-libbing and, and, and singing in the background. Okay? As they as they putting precepts based on the things that he's saying. So it's like, you know, a, a live orchestra, man. And it's all in sync. Okay? And then, you know, you don't want to come in, you know... <laughs> Off, you know, just off beat, off chord, you know, playing the banjo, an instrument that ain't even, you know, part of, you know, it's like, what, what you doing? <laughs> okay? You're going to stand out. And see, one thing about it, you know, start with the apostles and elders and, you know, the elder brothers, you know, they've established an order amongst the church. So when something is off, it stands out immediately. You know, a woman pop up, you know, speaking and doing you know doing too much like you stand out because there ain't no other women doing that so now you stand out okay and as a man you doing things that other brothers ain't doing so now you standing out you know it's like having the wrong wedding garments on man what you would get that okay it says um be not rash with thy mouth and let not thy heart be hasty to utter anything before the most high for the Most High is in heaven, and thou upon earth. Therefore, let thy words be few. Okay? And if you're not adding to the topic with precepts, and brothers do, you know, make comments, you know, that are not precepts, but it still be on point with the topic. You know, a brother might add a little information. You know, we might be doing the news and prophecy, and a brother might add a little information. A brother might add a, um, a definition, you know, Brother might discuss something that's going on in his area that has something to do, you know, with what the speaker is talking about. It's all in sync, okay? And that's a skill set that we develop first by just listening and observing, you know, other men that's in sync, 
Okay? So let's go here. Let's get that, you know, dealing with the um, the wedding garment, man. Because see, when your conduct is off, you stand out. Okay? This is uh, uh, Matthew 22 and 9 says, Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, be it to the marriage. So those servants went out into the ways and gathered together all as many as they found both bad and good and the wedding was furnished with guests okay so as we are preaching and teaching on the highways and byways you know doing these lessons this is an invitation to a wedding okay the the the, the wedding all right of israel and yahweh bashim al shai joining our people back to their power okay and it says and when the king came in and this is yahweh shai to see the guests he saw that he saw there a man which had not a wedding garment. So this man, he stood out. And what made this man stood out? Okay? His conduct. Because we know that wedding garment represents your righteousness, which is your conduct. Okay? So as the spirit of Yahweh Shai is working on his men, you know, Yahweh Shai, you know, he'll spot out off conduct, man, and call it out. You know? Like this guy, uh, 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 army of Yahweh Shai. That man is like, he just in the... <laughs> You know, he just came to the wedding, okay, with the with the uh the, the Bin Laden jacket, okay, with the the Kim on shades. Like, what is this guy doing? You see, he doesn't have the proper attire, man. You know, a woman pop up putting up precepts. You're like, what is what? You know, if a woman come on the comment board putting up precepts, she would be singled out. Like, what are you doing? You have the wrong garment on, man. Okay, so we don't, you know, you don't want to be out there, you know, with the <laughs> the wrong conduct, man. You know, we're learning nobility, man. There's etiquette. See, we, you know, when you look at you know so-called royals and the royal families, man, they come from us, man. All that etiquette, you know, that they have in in, in London and Britain, and, you know, amongst the, the nobility, that come from us, man. That's our culture, man. Okay class, etiquette, you know, uh, 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 integrity, that nobility, behavior that comes from us. And this is what we're coming back to, man. Okay? And that's why we have to become like unto what? Let's get this in Matthew 8 and uh, Matthew 18. So like, let's go to Matthew chapter 18. All right, and one, it says, at the same time came the disciples unto Yahweh Shah saying, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And Yahweh Shah called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them. So he yeah, had the uh, disciples saying, Look, who gonna have pretty much who gonna be the greatest in the kingdom? You know, under you, who gonna be the greatest? Who gonna be the greatest man in the kingdom? <laughs> you know, and uh, Yahweh Shah set a child in the midst of him because he's hey, this is a teaching moment. Remember, Yahweh Shah used everything as a teaching moment. All right, that's why this situation, this is a teaching moment, you know? It's not to jump down, you know, a, a brother's throat, okay? But this is just pretty much a, 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 a um, you know, a uh, admonition, okay, to the newer believers, man, that are first coming into this thing, man, all right? And it says, verse 3, it says, and say, verily I say unto you, Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. So he told them, look, y'all talking about who's going to be the greatest. First, you got to become like a child. You got to be, uh, uh, um, you got to go back into learning mode. Okay, before we can be great, we got to go into learning mode. Okay, because a child, you know, sometimes a child will be so quiet in the room, you won't even know them there, know that they're there. But guess what? They ear hustling. They soaking up all the game. You know how them children be special. You know, when you're talking, you know, they they know they ain't supposed to be there, but they be so quiet that they just listening and, and taking everything in. You know, you look at a child, child be looking directly at your mouth. <laughs> you know, he ain't saying nothing. He's just looking directly at your mouth as you speak. You know, and that's how we have to be within this truth, man. You know, a tenant, we have to be like children. Then we become great. Okay? 
You know, you don't just jump out there and get to speaking and talking. And no, man, you gotta listen and learn. Then you start to become great in this thing, man. You start to, you know, grow. You know, your house shot starts to grow in you. And that's why brothers can, you know, the spirit is dealing because hey, your house shot is built up in brothers, so they're able to add to what the speaker is saying because your house shot is built up in those men. And they have the same spirit as the men they're speaking. Okay? So that's why you see it flow, you know, in sync. Okay? <laughs> so let's get this and we'll end it here. You know, just a quick admonishment, you know, to you new believers, man. All right? You should be occupied <laughs> with reading and studying. You should be writing precepts down, taking notes, okay, looking at words, you should be occupied, you know, so let's, um, let's go to some rock, um, 32, and, all right, this is rock 32 and 7, it says, speak young man, if there be need of thee, and yet scarcely when thou art asked twice, okay? Scarcely when thou art asked twice. So, so we speak when there be need be, you know? We don't just, you know, and that's something even as we begin to teach, we learn, you know, especially when we are careful, we're doing the live spring of months, brothers. We learn, you know, not to just blurt out every point, you know, that come to our mind. You know, sometimes it's just fall back. And, you know, a lot of times, when brothers are speaking at certain points, you know, it'd be a time to speak on things and then it'd be a time to fall back. You know, that brother in the spirit too, you gotta let him get off, <laughs> okay? So it'd be a time to where, you know, as, as, as teachers, we got, you know, even us, we're still learning. It ain't like we gotta figure it out, we're still learning. You know, we try to give speech when need be, you know? And the spirit, that's how the spirit go, is to give you an opening, you know, when it's time for you to speak. And then sometimes the spirit will shut down, you know, what you got because the spirit wants this to come out what this brother is saying. Okay? So we, we, this is a thing of us all constantly learning. We all growing no matter what stage we at. We're all growing, man. <laughs> okay? It says, verse 8, it says, Let thy speech be short, comprehending much and few words. Be as one that knoweth and yet holdeth his tongue. Okay? In few words, comprehending much, and that's a skill set, you know. And that's more so with the, with the men, you know. As we teach, man, you know, to have our words comprehending much, okay. In few words, man, you know, being concise. Now, some brothers, you know, gonna be a little more long with it than others, you know. And then there's sometimes where you know it's a lot of information and things that be broke down, you know, tedious lessons to where it's gonna be. You know kind of lengthy okay but then you know um just in general you know you want to get to your point you want to make your point okay bring out a precept make your point move to the next man you know so yeah man just quick admonishment you know for um you know comment board etiquette you know for you new believers you know like i say we get it <laughs> you know uh, but there's a, there's an etiquette, you know. We're coming back to nobility and grow your etiquette, man. You know, so Lord will you brothers and you sisters edify to the next time I say shalom. Form yashallah, a baba ba, ba, ba DTA soon, shalom.